mix five parts cinnamon with seven eggs and the blood of a chicken. Um, I'm not here for that. If you are, praise be, go wild. I'm here about products and stuff that I've tested and I've tried and I'm telling you guys about it. Hello, hi, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. This little world right here is man for himself. If you like hair product reviews, grooming, skincare, fragrance, and videos like this very one, then you are going to love it right here. You are absolutely gonna love it. Please do press subscribe right now. So, healthy hair and scalp. I've spoken so much about hair care, products, what to do, what not to do. The new hair products guide that started on Monday is helping you to focus your attentions on the stuff that you need. Stop spending money on the stuff you don't need. I will do that for you and I will keep you right. But I thought let's talk about more about healthy hair and a healthy scalp and stuff that you can do at home. First thing, the health of you is going to improve the health of your hair and your scalp. Um, it makes sense that our hair is made of amino acids and proteins. So the stuff that we're putting into our body should be coming out in our hair on our skin. You know that when you're feeling down, when you're unwell, your skin might not look so good. And it's the same with your hair. It's so important to have a healthy and a balanced diet. So get that in. Um, I did a video maybe about two, three years ago about this. So I'll get it, I'll link it down there actually, about the types of foods you should be eating. You know, thinking about sort of oily foods and um, salmon, that's an oily food, you know, nuts and other various things. And um, also I have tried biotin. Biotin is a vitamin. Um, that is good for uh, thicker, healthier hair, skin, nails. But I would say if you're ever struggling or you think you might have something wrong, go and see a doctor, please. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a guy sitting in his dressing room talking to you about hair products and skin and fragrance. So do look after yourself, please. Um, into products for hair health and scalp health. Shampoos and conditioners, spoken so often about what I use, how I use it, what I don't use, how I don't overwash my hair, especially now it's back to being slightly shorter. I don't want to overwash it. I don't want to strip all those sort of natural oils that my uh, scalp is producing and that's kind of coating the hair. Now, I am very excited to be working with Bulldog Skincare. Uh, Bulldog Skincare are a brand that I have preached and harped on about for years. I think they're a fantastic brand who are producing products which are bang on for the budget um, and they just always do what they're supposed to do. And they have made, they have made their first foray into hair care. Praise be for Bulldog Skincare. Now into hair. These are three new shampoos. I've tested these from when the hair was longer. I've tested it on the shorter locks for this week. Yes, I know. But I think these are really fantastic. And the reason I wanted to partner with them is because I trust in them. I know the team. I know as much research as they do. And I just think £5.50 for 300 mils is bang on. 100% consumable recycled plastic. I always mess that one up. 100% post-consumer recycled plastic goes into the bottles. They're thinking about the environment. Also, all the ingredients in here are supposed to be there. They are naturally derived. They've also got one hero ingredient per shampoo. I'm gonna link them down below to help you find the best one for you, but they've got an original, which is the green, that has chicory root, which is great for protecting the hair and the scalp. They've also got, where am I next? They've got the sensitive one. It's really hard to see things from behind. The sensitive one, which is Fuji Apple Extract. This is fantastic for your scalp. It's gonna reduce any irritation, any redness on the scalp. So again, really looking after the scalp and the hair help. Help, health, there you go. And the third one, if any of you struggle with dandruff, then the third one here, anti-dandruff for your hair and your scalp. And this one is with added jujube bark. So it's been created to cleanse the hair, but also to tackle dandruff on the scalp. So this is gonna help to reduce um, the sebum on the scalp. So sebum comes from the sebaceous glands, it's the oily secretion that we get, which is very natural, but a sort of buildup isn't so great. So very good. Bulldog, I like your style. I'm looking forward to seeing what else you do with this. The other thing you need to be doing, it doesn't matter if you're growing your hair or you're keeping it short, have regular trims. Your barber or your hairdresser is gonna be able to see your scalp. They're also gonna be able to see your hair. They're gonna tell you if something doesn't look right and if they're not telling you, go to someone else, honestly. 
Also, having regular cuts is just going to keep the hair in better condition. Split ends um, are like the splintering of hair because of breakage and damage. Damage the phone, it's on the floor. Um, but make sure you are having those regular trims. It's so important. Next up, um, heat. Let's talk heat. Heat on the scalp is not great. Yes, Robin, you are a guy who uses a lot of hot heat on his hot, hot scalp. But I'm looking after my hair. I'm always using um, protective heat protectant sprays. I'm not using too much heat on one area. With your hair dryer, move that hair dryer around. Always do that. And um, also finish on a cold blast of air. It's going to up the shine. It's going to close the cuticle of the hair. And it's really just going to ensure that it's at its strongest heat. Be careful. Also, I'm um, using tools. I've got tools here. When you're using uh, brushes and you're using combs, try and use a wide tooth comb to start, especially if it's in damp or wet hair. It's gonna to help to get rid of any of those tangles. Fine tooth combs can sometimes pull and tug and cause breakage. You also get tools like this. This is a Manta brush, I love this. Super flexy, really soft on hair. Um, I mean, that's what it's for, <laughs> super gentle on your scalp. So just like something like this, something like this, and then get into more of a fine tooth comb. Um, also treatments, like specific treatments for your scalp and for your hair. I would say, like I've used like salicylic acid treatment. Salicylic acid is a BHA. It is gonna to help to naturally, well chemically, exfoliate your scalp. So it's gonna remove any of that buildup of products. It's gonna to help to freshen the scalp. It's gonna stop anything sort of clogging in. So treatments are good. I have loads on manfromself.com. Hair treatments, scalp treatments, treatments by your face. Everything is there. Also the products that you're choosing to use. Um, I am very much a water-based product guy. I do like oil-based products and I think they really, like they, they have a time and a place for that sort of old school look. So you really wanna go for something totally shiny. But if you were using an oil-based product every single day and you weren't going to wash it out, it is gonna cause you to have a film, like a protective layer of oil on top of the scalp. When oil goes into the follicle, it can cause, and again, this is like extreme cases, not at all trying to shock or scare you. It can cause follicle miniaturization. That's when the follicle actually gets smaller and smaller and the hair becomes weaker and it drops out. Then you got bald. But that is totally extreme cases, but this is about scalp health. So I'm someone that if I do use an oil-based product, I'm gonna wash it off, unless it's gonna be an oil-based product for a couple of days. Um, but I am a water-based product guy because it just comes out easier. So think about the products that you're using. And the final one, I mean, I've got loads, I could go on forever with this, but the final one I always think is, know what your normal is. Know when your hair feels good, when your scalp feels good, when it looks its shiniest, um, if it ever feels oily. Try and think about how did I get there? Was there a product that I used which has caused this reaction? So it's like with our bodies, I know certain foods are not gonna agree with me. I also know that if I have spicy noodles before I film a video, then I'm gonna have extremely shiny skin. I did that today, but I wanted a spicy noodle, so I went with it. But get to know your normal and what feels good for your hair and your scalp. But there you go. Thank you very much for watching. This was like a monologue, it really was. I have so many more hair tips and, and tricks. You can see those on manfromcells.com. You can also see it on this YouTube channel. So if you're still new to this, you're still not, still not pressed subscribe, then please do hit that subscribe button right now. That button is there. There's also more video suggestions down there and a link to my blog down there. And Bulldog Skincare, the three new shampoos, is down there in the description. But until my next new video, bye-bye.